Hello traders, my name is Tomasz Wiśniewski, I'm a chief analyst in Avari Research and Analysis and this is daily analytical report. Let's start, let's look for decent trading occasions, let's look for decent trading setups. The calendar today is very very busy, as you can see we have a lot of uh, data. Uh, we started with the world's data from China, so we get PMIs. Uh, which came worse than expectations. Then we had a pack of data from uh, Eurozone. Most recently, you know, we got GDP from Eurozone, which came better than expectations. Unemployment rate as well came worse than exp uh, better, so the lower number. And this is definitely helping Euro, especially the, uh, against the American dollar, but the, uh, it's not the only influence here. Uh, because euro dollar is also influenced by the weakness of of the dollar uh, recent weakness of the dollar mm, why is that well we had a normal correction on the dollar but uh, uh, the correction movement is gaining traction right now uh, it extends beyond um, some expectations and this is also fueling driving mm, uh, the buyers driving the upswing on the euro uh, dollar today what we will also get is a speech from bank of canada officials and pack of data from uh, from us but not the tier one uh, not the tier one data with that being said i think we can uh, see the charts uh, right now uh, so you can see that euro dollar it was recently testing a super important resistance and this resistance was created by the broken support so here is the support this horizontal support and it got broken uh, euro dollar got to the new mm, uh, long-term uh, lows and according to the price action which is uh, price action is um is approach where, where you just uh, look at the price you don't look at the indicators etc according to the price action uh, principle a uh, broken support should be tested as resistance and those resistances were tested but as you can see those resistances were broken so price coming back above the yellow line uh, creates a false breakout pattern so this is a false breakout pattern and false breakout patterns usually result with the strong signal in the opposite direction so here there was a signal to go short and after the breakout uh, there will be signal to go long here there is actually signal to go long uh, so euro dollar is no longer bearish the correction went in beyond the expectations and we do have a uh, buy a signal um that's a buy signal in the short term buy signal in the long term will be uh, created when the price will break the red line and most probably it will be a combination of red line and the green line because the price will go like this like this like this and a breakout of this resistance will give us a proper long-term buy signal on euro dollar now australian dollar to american dollar uh, here beautiful uh, price action movement so head and shoulder broken the neckline uh, broke the neckline a broken lower line of the channel up formation and here we got a sell signal sell signal is pretty strong because it gave us around 200 pips and uh, from head and shoulder to inverse head and shoulder formation so left shoulder head and the right shoulder and the price went higher the price went higher in a wedge those red line is a wedge wedge uh, went to the horizontal resistance and to, to a 38 point to Fibonacci and went lower and that would be a super strong sell signal and very very uh, good in terms of the technical analysis but the problem here is with this uh, formation with this pattern is the weakness of the dollar now so if the dollar was a bit stronger like for example here on the euro dollar the sell signal here would be uh, exceptionally strong uh, also because of the head and shoulder pattern here but uh, the weakness of the dollar is putting pressure here and um, even and this setup does not look so good anymore price closing above 
the orange area will give us a significant strong legitimate sell uh, buy signal price bouncing from this orange line again will give us a sell signal now gold gold is doing exactly what we expected yesterday i wrote an analysis about gold this is a false breakout pattern a false breakout below the horizontal support false breakout from the symmetric triangle pattern here um, price also bounced from the 38.2 and from the lower line of the wedge and after the comeback above those above the blue line we tested the blue line as a support right now and a weaker dollar helps here so a weaker dollar is a good information for uh, the buyers of gold now weaker dollar is helping here and as long as we stay above the blue line the sentiment for gold is positive uh, in terms of gold how you can trade it how you should trade it is the breakout of the upper line uh, of the wedge here will give us a buy signal so price closing above the red line uh, will be a long-term buy signal because that would mean uh, the continuation of the uptrend there is a correction defense of 38.2 that would mean a new bullish wave so price closing a day above the upper red line super strong sell buy signal on go now three instruments from the trading sniper video uh, first the dollar index and on dollar index what you can witness now what you can see is the false breakout pattern so false breakout on euro dollar false breakout on dollar index that shouldn't be a surprise as uh, dollar index is let's say 70 percent of the of um, consists of euro dollar uh, so euro dollar has the biggest contribution to this and that's an ascending triangle pattern <laughs> Uh, dynamic support horizontal resistance uh, this triangle resulted with the bullish breakout which is not surprising as it's how it should be done it's how it's supposed to be done ascending triangle is supposed to result with an upswing uh, we had a breakout of the horizontal resistance here come back the price should bounce from this line according to the price action principles the price did not bounce from this line the price came back below that's a false breakout in this case uh, price closing a day below the red line purple line let's say will be a proper sell signal now american dollar to swiss franc which after many many bearish candles uh, first one second third fourth fifth five candles with long heads which is showing us that those levels were rejected finally uh, it's getting ready well here it was getting ready but finally we do have a correction stage so recently the price broke the horizontal resistance and the dynamic resistance and again according to the price action rules uh, there should be a test of this resistance as a, uh, as a support so the price should decline here and this is what is happening right now after those two shooting stars the price is entering the correction stage and the price is aiming uh, lower uh, we should get the drop for 50 pips uh, so american dollar to swiss franc is having a nice legitimate short-term midterm let's say midterm because it's a daily chart so definitely it's a midterm uh, selling opportunity now cable uh, cable as you can see on many instruments we do have uh, this uh, principle uh, we can witness this principle of the broken resistance or support being tested as support or resistance on the on um, cable uh, we had a breakout of uh, this um, horizontal support now we are testing it as a resistance we are also testing the midterm down trend line as a resistance it's a great occasion to sell but you sell only based on the price action so this is um, this is what is the best uh, in price action is uh, that you trade only when you see the price price doing something so you cannot assume that the price will bounce from this line or will break it you just wait for this reaction so 
we can have a bounce or a breakout. Bounce from this line, so price creating a bearish reversal pattern will give us a signal to sell. And here the price breaking this line and closing today above those two will give us a signal to buy. So price closing here, that's a buy. Price bouncing from here, that's a sell. So what price action traders do is you do not anticipate, you do not assume that the price will go up or down. You just wait for the price action to show you where the price will go. So you have to be patient and you have to wait. And price will show you the direction. Don't try to fight with it, don't try to force it. The price will show you where the price want to go. New Zealand dollar to Canadian dollar, nice instrument, double top formation after bouncing from the neckline of the double top, we do have a kind of correction. Most probably we'll try to aim, uh, break this resistance again. We will see. Uh, sentiment. Uh, the price, uh, the place where we stopped is not random, uh, so support here, resistance here. As long as we stay below the yellow line, I think it would be fair to say that the sentiment is negative. Crude oil, crude oil after a heavy blow, after heavy strong correction is uh, going up again. We have one resistance left, which is the upper line of the channel up formation and a horizontal resistance, so a combination of those two. Price closing a day above those two will be a strong signal to buy, and I think it would be fair to finish on this statement. Here at Rebel, we uh, showed you this resistance, and as you can see, this resistance is, uh, is respected, so thanks to this, you know that it's a strong one. How to trade it? Price closing above the green line, that will be a signal to go long. Simple as that. American dollar to Russian ruble here. We have a similar situation. Price closing a day above the orange line will be a signal to buy. That will be a signal to buy. Price closing above the orange line. Now, DAX. Uh, DAX is the biggest German index, as you can see. We have a sideways trend for the past few days near, near local highs. Being on the top for me is the worst uh, place to trade. I don't think it's a good idea to trade here. Uh, obviously, the price can go higher and higher and higher. There are no signals for the price to reverse, so in overall the sentiment is positive, etc. But it's not my uh, piece of cake. I don't like uh, this kind of situation. I'm not a fan of trading um, near extreme local highs or local lows. I would I would love to wait for a correction here. American dollar to uh, Japanese yen. Uh, so the weakness of the dollar uh, you can see also here. You have many lines here so maybe I will just remove it not to confuse you and we will we'll be able to focus on the latest lines. You can see that the price is approaching important uh, support. Price already broke. Important support here. It doesn't matter which line you will connect. The crucial breakout here was made today. And with this, there is a sell signal. Also, I would like you to see the false breakout. This is the false breakout. Why? Because false breakouts are usually uh, very strong trading signals. This false breakout above this horizontal resistance. And we are paying price for this. The price should aim to the lower red line. And this is my outlook. This is my view on the American dollar to Japanese yen. New Zealand dollar to American dollar, after this heavy uh, drop for 
340 pips we do have a correction I even have a target for this correction so it's 38.2 it's also support from January from February from April price getting there and creating a bearish reversal pattern will be a great selling opportunity simple as that that's a v-shape reversal v-shape reversals are usually pretty strong so watch out for this but in overall uh, i think that price getting there will be a great occasion to go short australian dollar to swiss franc here we are still below this resistance after the false breakout here is an, another example of false breakout do create an excellent opportunity in the opposite direction so here we had a buy signal here we had a sell signal as long as we stay below the red line the sentiment is still negative negative. and last instrument is bitcoin uh, bitcoin is creating a double top formation for one two after the breakout of the neckline we should see a further decline but in overall i'm quite positive about bitcoin i would love to see the price to get to six thousand uh, dollars but i think this movement should be extended in time right now taking uh, into the consideration the latest price action i think that the price uh, still have time but it's not necessarily the time now for the price to get uh, the yellow line um this uh, line um, has a huge let's say gravity uh, for the price uh, it was a crucial support for many many months here so it would be just it would be simply nice to test it as resistance this cannot be considered as a test or can it be five thousand six hundred dollars if we would do like this and like this maybe yes here lows were in five thousand seven hundred dollars five thousand uh, lows five thousand seven hundred here highs were on five thousand six hundred almost there we almost tested the it is a resistance but really i would love to see price getting higher but with this price action with the price breaking the red line uh, to be honest with you i think with this kind of uh, situation i think that the sellers have slightly bigger chances for success so let's recap the situation euro dollar buy uh, well i cannot tell you to buy or sell i'm not doing this whatsoever so I can tell you what's the sentiment on the market. So there is a positive sentiment on euro dollar. On Australian dollar to American dollar negative. Still, gold is positive. Dollar index negative. Or American dollar to Swiss franc negative. Cable, we will see. New Zealand dollar Canadian. And by we, we will see, you remember what I meant. Price closing today above buy. Price bouncing sell. New Zealand dollar to Canadian dollar negative. Crude still slightly negative here waiting here waiting germany positive Our american dollar japanese yen negative new zealand dollar to american dollar A short term positive long term negative here australian dollar to strong negative and bitcoin slightly negative so guys thanks very much for watching the daily analytical report i hope you enjoyed us and thanks very much for uh, you being here and i i hope that this video helped you in making your trading decisions and in understanding the market movements and uh, i wish you all the best and we'll see each other really really soon okay thank you and bye